Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here and it's Brick Hall O'Clock again with a package sent in by a subscriber and another one from Bricklink.com Right, well I definitely think we need to start with the subscriber package and if you want to send in a package for me to open on a future Brick Hall then you can by sending it to this address which you might be able to read a bit more easily here <laughs> so this one's been waiting a little bit of a while and I got a prompt to uh, get to it, which was well received because I do need to get a move on sometimes. I've got too many things on my plate, too many plates spinning at once. So yeah, oh, this one's been very well packaged though. <laughs> so I'm just going to rip open one end and oh, get tipping. Wow, we've got loads. Oh my word, loads of little bags. Check that's empty. Yes. So first of all, we seem to have a Lego pencil case, which I'm not sure I need, but it does seem to have a letter in it, so that's good. Who knows, I might be able to keep uh, stickers in it or something like that. Oh, we've got other bits and bobs in here. I think some of it is stationary, but we'll see. Yeah, we've got, actually, this is quite nice. <laughs> we've got a Lego pencil. Very nice. We've got some Lego stickers. Honeybee girl, dragon guy with a rabbit hat on and so on. Yeah, I might be able to use those on an advert or something like that around the city. I keep saying that, but I haven't got around to it yet. A nice ruler. Actually, that might be useful for lining up things, uh, stickers and so on. And a little notebook for all of your suggestions. That would be really useful. Cool. Another sticker sheet. I don't recognise that set, to be honest. Ultralight. I'm sure I'll be able to find it quite easily in the catalogue. But uh, it's obviously some sort of aircraft or something like that. Uh, yeah, so that's interesting, but lots of red stripes and this letter. Let's just check if I'm allowed to show this or not. Here we go. Golly, I might struggle with this handwriting, so bear with me. Uh, I discovered your channel about a year ago and have got a few bricks and minifigures for you. Right. This includes bricks, minifigures and a super secret cop. And some small things for your f fun fair. Yep. I thought you could use the brown Lego around the park, uh, missing a number of bricks. I also have micro cars for a cool remote control car game. I really hope you enjoy something for two things and shout out Formula Hot Laps and a Bedoying. Thanks, Bob. Right, well, you can definitely have the Bedoying. There you go. <laughs> By the way, is this your full-time job? I'm not being rude, just interested. No, this isn't my full-time job. I have a full-time job and this is my hobby. So, uh, yeah. Well, thanks very much for that, Bob. Uh, and that is a great letter. Let's go through. Let's see if we can make head or tail of what you've sent me in there. So we've got what appear to be a random bag of parts here. Oh. All sorts of bits. We've got a decorated one with a face on. I haven't seen that one before. That's quite interesting. Lots of things. We've got little cakes in there. Oh, that dollar one's quite cool. I think that was from um, that city advent calendar. That's really good. Could be like a credit card or something like that in somebody's hand. Oh, lots of interesting modern bricks in here. All looks very clean. That's lovely. Thank you. What else have we got in here? Oh, we've got some key rings. Is it a key ring? I see, so that might be one of these remote control controlled cars game you were thinking of at the fun fair. Yeah, we all get, you know, a bit of a go on, a, on them all going around a track and smashing into each other perhaps. So there's two of those with the key rings on. We'd have to probably take the key rings off. And I presume these are all glued together. So any tips on those people for getting those apart might be well received. Here's a motorbike with a guy on. Oh, is that what that was? Uh... Now, I don't think I've had this brown, or is it dark orange? Uh, kind of hard to tell at the moment, uh, coloured bike before. But that's a real nice one, actually. It's this sort of, I don't know, I think of that as being a sort of Triumph bike, a sort of older style one. Uh, and this must be your Sig Fig, I imagine. Oh, he's come with the handlebars, so I have to have him around the city as well. I may as well reattach him to the bike and have him riding that on the roads, I suppose. So that's good. So there's Bob, everyone. Yeah, he can be having a wave as well. If I can get him working. This isn't going very well. There we go. <laughs> so we'll have him there. What else we got? Oh, wow. Yes, you have sent loads of minifigures. 
Golly, an absolute load. Talking of the uh, super secret police. That sounded like them going by, didn't it? And here is uh, the contribution to that team. So that'll be great. Obviously, I'll change out his head so he looks like a self-important cop <laughs> with his wonderful uh, body armor and helmet and so on. So that's really good. We've got a Santa. How many Santas are oh, too many Santas? That's a question. Maybe we should do an army build with Santas. <laughs> That'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? We've got the uh, spider costume lady or something like that, isn't it? What's that? Series... Ooh, I'm going to get this wrong now. 13, I think. Then we've got... Oh, I've forgotten his name as well. He's from, he's, he's called something like Harp or Hank or something like that. It's a bit of an odd name uh, from the uh, TV program. Uh, and he's got one of those things, I think, that you're supposed to be levelling out a road with sort of thing if he's a workman. Oh, golly, another, <laughs> another Santa. So, yes, it looks like we are starting the army building already. I think some of these have come from uh, some uh, advent calendars. And we've got what looks like a Dick Turpin, but it's actually presumably from... Oh, I don't recognise that. It looks like he's got... The bottom half looks like he's from um, The Lone Ranger. And maybe the top half as well, but the hat doesn't. So I'm not sure if that's sort of a bit of a combination of two minifigures. But I'm sure I'll be able to use the torso and legs of that, not so much the skin pieces. And maybe the hat is for a pirate in my undersea cabinet or something. One more of those wonderful... Uh, uh, subway worker costumes from the hidden side so that's good getting loads of those now snowboarder pizza outfit from the same that's from the shimp shack attack and so on and the nexo knights one i really don't have much nexo knights wow they are colorful trousers <laughs> they've got to be the most colorful trousers i've seen for a long time uh, and a nice helmet in blue and relatively normal head, though that side is much more fun, having a bit of a sing-song. So, uh, yeah. Oh, it looks a bit sleep, though, with that on in there. So, yeah, all very good. Thank you. Then we've got... I'm wondering if these need to be kept apart, because this almost looks like it's a mini build or something like that. But, oh, yes, yes, we have. We've got some instructions, so it is... It is a little creator build. Okay, so I'll be able to fish them out separately afterwards. So I'm going to tip them all in. Very nice. So we've got some wheels, obviously, and some nice bits in dark azure and red, mainly. Very useful parts, of which some are rolling away. We've got a mini build of... Looks like you've been collecting lots of... Um, where's that going to fit on the front? That came off. I think it was supposed to be on something like that. Was it just on the bottom like that? Oh, is it on the back? There we are. Yeah, it looks like you've been sending me lots of poly bags. So that is a sort of tractor with a grass cutting sort of device on the back. I wonder if that spins when it drives along. Well, it kind of does a little. Yeah, it does quite a lot, actually. Yeah, that's really clever, actually, as a play feature. Just a little bit of friction on the undersides of those things actually turning. See, it even works on my hand if you couldn't see it before. That is really quite clever. So I love little poly bags like that when they've done something very, very simple with very few pieces, but it is actually still a really good toy. Uh, then we've got this bag, which appears to be some sort of Christmas train. Yep, so that's got to be from an advent calendar, but not one that I've had before. So maybe we should save that as an intact build for Christmas. Was that this recent one? Because I, I got the Star Wars one this year, so I didn't get all of these things. But, ah, now this must be what you mean for the remote control car game. Oh, I think that'll look better as well than these keyring ones, because that's a big monster truck, but in mini form, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Yes. And there's the other ones. So they're very similar to the actual full-size ones um, in that uh, stunts pack from the first wave. So, yeah, they'll be good. So we've got two different monster trucks. There's the other wheels for that. Uh, we've got an ambulance in the wings <laughs> for when it all goes wrong. And golly, I don't know what that one's supposed to be. No, you'll have to tell me what that is. It almost looks like a locomotive, but a really weird one. With a sort of almost like a rhino horn on the front and these sort of guns on the side. So anyway, there's that. I'll look it up. It's probably from that same uh, advent calendar, isn't it? So we've got absolutely loads of good stuff there. Uh, oh, we've got another one of those old bricks with, with a sort of animal face on. This one's clearly a monkey. I was collecting those at one point to kind of put as uh, obstacles or sort of play 
uh, things in a child's playground. Uh, I still may add those to my existing playground near the uh, town hall or somewhere else that's new that you don't know about. But that looks really good fun, doesn't it? Nice cheeky monkey. It's almost tempting to stack them and make kind of a totem pole of all the different faces, I must say. Uh, what else is in here? I think that's from a Star Wars set. We've got a crab. Let's tip these over here. Ooh, we've got butterfly wings for a minifigure. We've got... Ooh, that's very interesting. Oh, yeah, that's the sort of horned, eared hairpiece from the... What is it? The Fawn? Or whatever you'd call it. Something from Aesop's Fables. Uh, and then we've got duh, 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 lots of different interesting bits. A nice uh, lamppost in black. A very old 2 by 3 with police written on the side. Golly, is that like... Oh, yes, that will be a Nexo Knight shield. I've never had one of those before. That looks massive, doesn't it? But it will take one of those um, shield-shaped tiles on the front. Oh, I might have to have a play with that. That's a really... It almost looks like a sort of, sort of hoverboard or something like that. You could have a man standing on it with sort of jets coming out of here. I don't know if they've used it in that sort of a way before. Uh, with the handle on the front. That's got so many possibilities for use, that has. Yeah, that might be the most interesting piece. Not the best piece, perhaps, but definitely the most interesting piece from my perspective, because I haven't had that before. Nice big splash. Uh, and, wow, lots of other bits to play around with. Wow, so this has been a really, really mixed bag, quite literally. <laughs> We've had lots of minifigures, which I'm definitely going to be able to use in the city. Really nice uh, monkey face, this... Nexo Knight Shield. We've got a new inhabitant on his, I'm going to say that's dark orange uh, motorbike, uh, looking good fun. I've got something to get out next Christmas to put uh, the kids all riding along on. Uh, just repair the wheels of that. Uh, loads of bricks for projects and some genuine Lego stationery. Uh, and I quite like the idea of these as some remote controlled vehicles uh, in a fairground game. So yeah, maybe we'll do that too. Right, so thanks again for all of that, Bob. And I did just discover one more thing, which is this wonderful Nexo Knight shield with the dynamite on. I might have to try and use that as well. I really like the uh, sort of logo in there. That looks really good. Uh, so on to my Bricklink package. And I got this one quite a while back. It's actually been in my pile waiting for a long time. That was partially because it didn't have anything desperate in, but it was something that I needed in the longer run that I wanted to secure. So, ooh, we've got it in loads of paper bags, which is good for reducing plastic, but quite bad for recording because of all the crumpling noises, but we'll try and work our way through that. Some of it's just padding. So we've got four paper bags and what looks like some stickers. So let's start with those, very well protected as well, which we like to see. Let's see if I can get this open without oop, without hurting them at all. All right. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, it looks like here. So the first one is from a troll set, and wow, isn't that... <laughs> Not that great in my opinion, but uh, yeah, the troll set were a bit of an absolute crazy line uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I mean, it was easy to not buy them, but there are a couple of things that I quite liked in them. I think we'll see a couple in this haul. And one was this rock tour poster. And I just thought that was really good uh, just to go on a wall somewhere. Uh, and I've already bought a magenta tile like was in that original set. I mean, you could put it on a purple one, of course. Uh, for that. So I can just stick that on a wall around my city somewhere. So that is what that's going to be used for. And maybe I can use that mirror with rock and roll written on it or this barb thing. I mean, the barb could be a um, two by two vinyl record cover in my vinyl record store. And I finally get to that. And that's the end of a guitar, isn't it? So we could maybe use that or that for a seat cover or, well, just probably not these two. And I think that set's quite funny, actually, because behind those large stadium speakers uh, is a coffee machine, <laughs> which is not very rock and roll, in my opinion. But nonetheless, maybe they just like a nice coffee rather than anything uh, stronger than that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's a good poster. It was very cheap. Talking of cheap sheets, this was another one. Uh, this is from the uh, Joker's Trike Chase, 76159. Uh, and I can't even remember why I got these. There's some nice panels in black. And there's these purple ones with ha 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 written on, which I might have wanted for 
uh, sort of a clown show or something like that. Or it might have been these red motorcycle ones with the sort of Robin R logo on. I don't even remember. And there's even this small one with some wires on. So, yeah, I must have just put that in my bag as a last minute sort of addition. But, um, yeah, it's all right. Uh, I'm sure I'll find some use for some of those. Um, then we have got this, which is much more useful, I think. So this is from the very big main square set, 60271 from 2020, which is the one with the Robin Hood brick statue in that Lego was so very nice to commemorate my channel with. Uh, and I didn't really need that set, though, partially because I had my own statue already, uh, and also because I had a tram and, well, a town hall and all sorts of other stuff. And I don't need a diner with a big burger on the roof because I've got fast food corner. Uh, but I do like very much that city diner sign because I really like the sort of city backdrop that's in the background that very much reminds me of my city, to be honest. So, yeah, that's really nice. And then hungry, we're open. That's a really good sign. Some individual sort of menu type signs, uh, more control panels another sort of bus or tram timetable, uh, and even a clock face. So I think that's a really useful sheet. Uh, so I was kind of waiting to come across one that wasn't uh, very badly priced. Uh, so um, yeah, I'll be able to use that. And actually there's another poster there, isn't it? A name you can trust, unlike Sinclair. So I think Sinclair is the mayor of uh, whatever the town is in the uh, uh, Lego TV program. So uh, yeah. Maybe I'll be able to put that on a poster on a random wall as well. So that's a good start. Three sticker sheets. And then, oh, we've got paper bags within paper bags. Oh, my Lord. I mean, you wonder if this is actually greener than plastic when there's this much paper involved. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to open all of these and start again. <laughs> OK, that was a palaver. But uh, you'll have to imagine that all of this is coming out of uh, paper bags. This, oh was the main reason for the order. And that's why I didn't need it that urgently, basically until I ran out of my existing supply. And it was train magnetic buffers, because if we're going to get the cargo train going all the way around the track, then we're going to need a lot of these. And, um, well, it's hard to get them for a decent price. And when you find some, and there should be 20 here, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs, fantastic. Uh, it's a really good opportunity to get them, well, get as many as you can. So obviously 20 of these buffers means 10 new wagons. So I'm going to be doing that right from uh, probably next week. I don't know. You've just seen my space hopper one, which went down very well. So I'm really glad you all enjoyed that. Uh, but yeah, loads more ammunition for yet more. Uh, and another paper bag on its own was a burp. Seems pointless wrapping that. Then we had a bag that had all of this in. So I've got loads of the normal cheese wedge slopes just for some hills. And then I also got two of the last pieces that I couldn't get hold of for my um, boutique hotel additional floor, just a pair of doors for the wardrobe in there. So that shows how old this order has been waiting. Loads and loads of these post-it notes. I think I've definitely got enough of those now. Five of those that are from all sorts of sets, including the old fishing store. So that's really good. Uh, I've got a few more of these coloured sort of Technic ball end things just in loads of bright colours because I want them to be sort of representing kind of boiled sweets uh, all sort of lying around randomly outside my sweet shop, uh, which is based on Honeydukes uh, shop, of course. So I've got a dark turquoise pink and orange one of those as well. Then for my dog addiction, one of the many things that I collect a lot, I've got this rather cute dog. Now, I know there's loads more Friends-style uh, dogs that I don't have, and I don't really want all of them because I find some of them are a bit too sort of twee and a bit too sort of doe-eyed, but I thought this one was actually on the right side of that line. Uh, he's in a bit of a strange colour being bright light orange, but I can forgive him that because he is a little cute puppy. So he is from uh, 41663, Emma's Dalmatian Cube. Uh, so I don't think that means it's from Croatia and the coast there, but uh, I think it's because you get a Dalmatian dog, i.e. a sort of spotted dog in there. I mean, he doesn't look much like Dalmatian because of his colour, but I think that little packet that was part of that set uh, contained uh, a mystery coloured dog, uh, and this is just one of those possible combinations. So I think you can get some horrible pink ones and all sorts of stuff, but uh, this one is on the sort of cusp of looking 
like a real life colour if you ask me. So he's very cute indeed. Uh, and then another thing we've got in that set is this treble clef, which is from another uh, kind of weird troll set, 41255, Pop Village Celebration from 2020. And I just have no idea what's going on in that set. I mean, it's kind of loads of interesting pieces, but it's going to be really hard to use them for anything uh, useful. I just, I just don't know what to do with that. But this is quite a good piece. Uh, that you can use for a door handle on a music uh, instrument shop or something like that. Uh, or maybe as part of a 3D sign or, well, all over the place really. So I think that's quite a good one. You can get it in a, a medium azure colour as well. Uh, the next bag had lots of parts that were trying to roll off my desk. So I'm just going to push them all in. A lot of them were just these brown parts for making trees with. And I got some quite good value Vita Rush cans because I kind of considered that if I'm going to have that stand uh, in my fairground or somewhere else, then I need to have loads of people sort of walking away from it, uh, drinking cans of Vita Rush and getting a, a serious <laughs> energy rush from it as well. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. So that should be plenty for people to be drinking that around my city. I sort of think they'll all be getting sort of slowly addicted to it and the uh, massive sugar rush that it provides. <laughs> and then we've got the actual original, I suppose, of that Dalmatian puppy, given that this one is black and white and looking just as adorable. So I thought I had to get him as well. Apparently his name is Elliot, uh, and he's been in four friend sets, including 41700 Beach Glamping from 2022, uh, where he's on the paddleboard there on the front. And hopefully Andrea is better at paddleboarding than I am. Uh, otherwise, that dog is going in the sea. <laughs> because you know, I found it really quite difficult to get the balance. Or rather, once you'd lost it, you were fine for a while. But then once you sort of started rocking, it just kind of <laughs> amplified and you were off. You were just, uh, you know, really lost. So there we go. So we've got two cute little puppies for somebody to have around the city. Then some minifigures. A little bit of army building because we've got another... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles foot soldier who's been in lots of sets including 79100 Krang Lab Escape from 2013 which is a pretty cool set actually all killer and no filler given you've got the sort of UFO like sort of uh, buggy for Krang and the containment field and all sorts of stuff with that set so that's really good actually so yeah another one of those uh, are we up to three or four of those foot soldiers now I can't remember uh, so that's good Another character is this. I think his hat fell off. I'm not sure if I like the hat, actually. This is from Ninjaga, this character. I might give it without the hat. I think he looks a bit more mean then. Uh, oh, what's that on the side of his head? Oh, my word, he's got, he's got a worm coming out of his skull. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's interesting. Only on one side. That's not added. No, it's printed on there. Wow, so this is a character called Whiplash who was in a few sets like 2509 Earth Dragon Defense from 2011. And wow, that Earth Dragon is a big boy, isn't he? Wow, he is chunky. Look at the size of his head. Absolutely massive. Um, but this character is another one that's featured on my Ninja uh, Ninjago World Ride, uh, the one that came in set 40429 that I've uh, since motorized. And I've already got these sort of uh, scales characters, the big sort of blue, dark blue snake character who's on one of these sort of video screens. Uh, and Whiplash, amongst some other sort of skeletal characters, uh, is on the other one. So I kind of thought I'd have them as kind of, you know, mannequins uh, standing next to each of those screens, uh, adding to the sort of scenery, really, I suppose. And I could have him with his hat on. I just, I don't know. I just think that looks a bit silly. Also, you can't see the worm coming out of his head when he's got that on so easily. So, yeah, there was uh, yeah, a few different characters there that I could have chosen from. But this one was the easiest to get, uh, at least in the places I went. So there we go. So there's him. Then another interesting animal is this one. Now, I deliberately avoided getting this uh, for a while because I just thought it was a bit silly having a cat with a Mohican hairstyle. But then again, you know, with a bit of time and it's sort of sinking in, you kind of think, actually, that's pretty funny and pretty cool. <laughs> and he's got a plaster on one side of his face. Oh, no, both sides of his face. And he's called Scarfield, obviously being a pun on the uh, cat Garfield that was used to be in cartoons everywhere. Uh, and that's from the Apocalypse Mrs. Scratching Post uh, series minifigure from the Lego Movie 2. 
So, yeah, that can be in a back alley, looking mean. Uh, I don't know if he's bullying other cats or if he's just uh, a chief mouser or ratter or something like that. But uh, there we go. Put him there. Or maybe he just belongs to somebody in a biker gang or something like that. Uh, I finally completed my Egyptian warrior from series 13. Not very important as such, but mine didn't have this sort of curved uh, gold sort of scimitar type sword. So he does now. I think there's a fancy name for that. Somebody will know it in the comments section. Can't remember it. Oh, yes. Now this. Oh, golly, it's clear. I didn't realize it was clear. So this. Uh, I sort of thought, oh, that's quite an interesting piece, but I don't need it. But then I looked at the name of it, and this is the Nexo Knights Book of Chaos. So I thought, what, the Book of Chaos? Yeah, I think I probably need that, don't I? <laughs> so anyway, this uh, only came in one set, 70313, Moltor's Lava Smasher. That kind of looks like a Chima set, really, doesn't it? Crossed with maybe a Power Miners one or something like that. But uh, yeah, with those two sort of claws coming down but I just love the idea of the book of chaos and maybe that will be just for sale uh, in my bookstore on the street or something amongst all the others where it's uh, uh, untold power is unrealized perhaps or maybe it should go to somebody who is uh, in one of those sort of very evil gangs around my city like Dr Inferno or something like that I don't know you'll have to give me ideas but I do really like the fact that it's clear I have to get a appropriate one by two tile for the inside of it so yes who should own the book of chaos and what should they be doing with it yeah oh i really like that very much glad i got that uh another one by two tile not for the inside of the book of chaos is this uh kind of instruction sheet that came with the uh what was it hard hat emmet from the lego movie one uh and it's just the instructions he was sort of carrying around i think but I do like the fact that if you can see that, there is a picture of a Lego shark with his mouth around a minifigure. So that's quite unfortunate for him. <laughs> so it's good to have that. Whoop. And I've got a couple more of these pieces that I've been getting recently in trans neon yellow. Ah, now this was a very significant purchase. These were getting very expensive already. And they're the torsos of the... Uh, well, not the characters, actually, but the wardrobe <laughs> in the uh, Queer Eye set, 10291, the Fab Five Loft from 2021. Uh, and I kind of really wanted these torsos for inclusion just on minifigures in my city. So we've got Love is Love on a blue, dark blue top. We've got this wonderful leather jacket with all sorts of badges on and stuff like that with Rebuild the World on the back. And I'll change all the hands so they're all yellow for the colour of everyone's skin in my city. Uh, and this lovely Hawaiian sort of, it's not really a shirt, is it? It's more like a jacket on top of a shirt there. But yeah, that's looking really good. So I'm looking forward to putting all of those in my city. I just kind of figured they would brighten it up. Uh, and I didn't want to take the ones from Mrs. Hood's uh, Fab Five Loft, which she is still working on, believe it or not. You would have thought she'd have finished it by now. But she's a very uh, busy girl. <laughs> and she is enjoying building it. So she's kind of savouring it, I suppose, rather than uh, not doing it. But uh, yeah, let's face it, she isn't as into Lego as me and probably most of you. So anyway, uh, we'll let her finish that in her own time. Then, yep, you guessed it. I bought more of these things. I keep vowing to stop. I think this is because I bought this a while back. So there's five more of those. Definitely got enough of those. And last but not least, another great big green piece that I bought kind of out of curiosity to see how it would look. And the answer is, it's big. Uh, <laughs> so this is a Duplo piece, as you might be able to tell, from the massively huge studs. Uh, and I just thought I'd buy it because it's a very interesting organic shape. And you might think, well, where am I going to have a huge palm tree like that? Well, I don't have to have a huge palm tree like that in a way, because I agree it'd be very hard and lumpy to use like that. I was thinking I could use it that way up if I could manage out a good connection with something else and almost use it as the lower leaves of some big plant. And maybe that could be kind of like a, a little shop of horrors type uh, plant that's sort of carnivorous or something like that. Or maybe it's something uh, in my deep sea cabinet or both, quite frankly. So we could probably have a stem coming out of that central section and it might look really good. So I thought I'd buy one. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't, you know, breaking the bank or anything uh, to see if it looked really good. I think one, given the size of this thing, is probably enough because it is massive, isn't it? But with five leaves and the very sort of interestingly shaped, and I love these sort of veins on the inside, I think it was quite a good idea, actually. Uh, and that 
should have been green, but it is actually bright green. I don't mind that that is wrong because bright green is probably a more rare color for my cabinet. It's good to have a contrast from this green, um, but I did think I was expecting it to be normal green. Anyway, so a green one would come in something like 4968 Friendly Zoo, uh, which is uh, opposed to an unfriendly zoo. Has anyone ever seen an unfriendly zoo? Anyway, um, but the bright green one is still in dozens of sets as well for Duplo, so you'll easily find that if you're interested. Cool. So, wow, what a diverse haul. So first of all, thanks again to Bob for a wonderful contribution. I really like the minifigures. I really like the fact we've now got a mini kind of Christmas train for bringing out at Christmas, the remote controlled uh, monster trucks for inclusion somewhere, and loads of other interesting pieces to incorporate, as well as my stationery, <laughs> which I think I will be using actually. Uh, and then a nice haul where the most important thing arguably is the buffer pieces for all my future train builds. Yes, there will be a lot. Uh, nice little dogs for my collection. Adorable. One more cat. Torsos, minifigures, army building. Should we have a Santa army build? <laughs> we could have absolutely loads of them. Everyone fears a massive Santa army. Uh, and yeah, loads of other pieces and interesting stickered uh, stuff. And the last thing for you to give me suggestions on, if you've forgotten, is who should have the Book of Chaos? <laughs> So as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos and for telling me how to use all of the parts that I don't have any ideas for. Uh, and if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And if you want to send a package to a future brick call like Bob did, then you can to the usual address. Uh, and then next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think we'll try and finish off one of the mock builds this Friday that we've started and left undone for so long. Uh, then Monday, I probably will do another train build uh, before doing another haul next Wednesday, of course. So until all of that, see you!